Welcome back. You're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shannon Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. If you're in front of your computer or on your phone, head over to Facebook and like Houston Real Estate Radio on Facebook and enter for your chance to win the iPad, iPod, iPad Mini from Zeus Mortgage. Our friends over at Zeus Mortgage are uh, running a promotion right now. If you like the Houston Real Estate Radio Facebook page, you will be entered in a drawing to win the iPad Mini, and this will make a great holiday season gift. We've got Stefan Swanepoel Skyping in today. Really exciting interview. He is one of the innovative leaders of real estate, really doing lots of research in the industry, monitoring what's going on. Really a great motivational speaker, and we're so excited because Champion School of Real Estate is actually bringing him in to the Houston market on December 3rd to speak to the industry. So that's really exciting that you're going to be heading our way, Stefan. Welcome to the show. Good morning. It's great to be with you. Thanks for the call. You know, it's I love that you're Skyping in because we can see you. And if anybody at home um, is listening to the show and they want to watch it, we're going to have it up on video over at HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. So you, if you miss any of today's interview uh, with Stefan, you can find it online. So lots of exciting things to talk about. Um, you are a motivational speaker all over the world, have lots of great things to talk about, and you've traveled all over. You've got lots of knowledge from lots of different areas that you bring to the table. But you focus on real estate, the technology, and so many different things dealing with real estate trends. What do you see trending in real estate that the consumers need to be aware of right now? Oh my goodness, what the consumer should be aware of. We really try and track what the business trends are for the business. So there are many things that are impacting the real estate professionals. Mm -hmm. And of course, indirectly, it, it impacts the consumer as well. Right. We've noticed in the last couple of years, now we, let's see, we've done about 26 books in the last mm, 17 years. So we really try to find out what is happening. And if you look at the real estate transaction, there is no question that the amount of technology that has become available for the average consumer in his home buying process yeah. the idea about looking for a home and surfing for a home and and finding out about more about the neighborhood and the community and the schools and that's even before you get to your real estate professional so mm -hmm. almost most consumers do end up using a real estate professional but you do have access these days online to so much information and of course the real estate professionals themselves they have to become more knowledgeable about how do they use you were just talking about just now the ipad mini but i mean whether it's the ipad mini or it's the, a mobile phone or it's uh, the internet or some of that technology Technology, let's say the video technology that can make that shopping experience, I would say, more fun, more practical, more mobile, more right there in your hands. Mm -hmm. You know, it's exciting, but it's also a little scary because the industry has changed and evolved so much just in the last five to seven years. So much growth and change. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, people say scary, and I always ask the question, what's the difference between scary and um let's say exciting right yeah and i think the difference between scary and exciting is probably only about 20 or 30 years of age <laughs> <laughs> with all respect but i mean as we get older we sometimes see things in a scary light mm -hmm. if we're still young and progressive and we think progressively even if it's just in our mind yeah we yeah. find many of these innovations to be um an advantage which we can utilize to uh do things better, quicker, faster, save time, save money, and just have access to more information. Mm -hmm. And we all know that the more information that you have at your fingertips, the better you can as a consumer be informed, yes. which means yeah. that you should be able to take a better decision. And consumers want to be confident in the decisions they're making. And so they use that information you know, to make them confident in that decision. Absolutely. And, and real estate professionals are, are trained professionals which can bring you that knowledge and expertise. But we all like to verify. We all like to get a second opinion. Right. And we sometimes don't want to work uh, with a sales uh, professional when we're not quite ready for that transaction yet. Yeah. We yeah. might be at an early stage of our process. And we just want to surf a little bit, get some information, pull the facts together and start thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And the web absolutely gives you that, that access to, to lots of information. Stefan has been the president of seven companies. He's an international best selling author and every year he publishes the Swanee Poll Trends Report for Real Estate. This is a man with the, his finger on the pulse of real estate. So it's so exciting to talk to you. And I want to talk to you a little bit about um, one of the books that you published. Um, 
I read Surviving Your Serengeti, The Seven Skills to Master Business and Life. Right after it came out, the Houston Association of Realtors published an article in their magazine, their monthly magazine, and I'm probably like one of the only you know 10 realtors who actually read it cover to cover. Uh, but there was an article about it, and so it prompted me to get the book and read it. And I really like it. I think it was a great book filled with you know just things that you can apply not only to real estate, but to life in general. And I think that the more you understand your own personality, then when you meet clients, you can better understand them and their needs and how to communicate with them and how to help them in that home buying process because it's a lengthy process and you know it, it, it's a lengthier sales process than going to buy a couch, for example, you know, or, or even a car. I think you know it's yep. and and there's so much information out there that they're bombarded with um, and so much misinformation and you really have to know how to help them through that transaction. Yes, no question. That book you referred to, Surviving Your Serengeti, most certainly was, was a fun book. It was intended for everybody. That, that was not a real estate book. It was a, a very general book. It, it takes only about three hours to read. And so many of us have, have taken either big quizzes or professional quizzes or mm-hmm. we've gone to schools or university or we've taken them online. Uh, how to determine what your strengths are or your personality traits are or your abilities are. And many of those of those tests or quizzes are either comprehensive or they take a little bit of time and it takes some time to get the results back. And we wanted to create something at that same kind of level or caliber where you could determine something about yourself. You could learn about yourself. You could Mm -hmm. discover your instinctive skills, your attributes. But you could do that online at no cost, very quickly, very easily. I mean, the quiz is available online at at the website, Mm whatanimalami.com. There's no advertising on the site. It doesn't cost you a penny. We've had, I think it's now been 400,000 people that have taken the quiz. And you get results immediately. And the intention is, if you know more about yourself, if you know more about your spouse, your loved ones, your children, and as you correctly said, even if you start learning more about your clients, if you just understand them a little bit better, you can probably uh, talk to them and serve them and help them better. So that was the idea of the book. So is there any dominant personality that you see from the web results? Do you track that? We did probably, uh, we do in the, in, in, the, in the analysis, when you apply for the quiz, we do ask you uh, whether this is just a social quiz that you're taking or whether you're doing it for a specific profession. And I think we've had about a hundred and, I'm guessing now, 140, 150,000 realtors take the quiz. Uh-huh. So we actually have analyzed so many real estate professionals that we can say of the seven skills, there are two skills that are fairly dominant. About half of all real estate professionals have two of the seven skills, yes. What are they? <laughs> I thought you were going to ask that question. <laughs> Both sitting at about 25 or 26%. So if you think there are seven attributes or skills, mm-hmm. and you divide that into 100, every skill percentage on average should be about 17%. Mm-hmm. We, have, we have two animals, uh, the uh, entrepreneurial crocodile, okay, which uh, those show out or illustrate people that are creative, Mm -hmm. dynamic, self-assured, starters in life, start their own businesses, don't mind working on on themselves, are self-driven. And that is a good description of of many real estate professionals. Yes, it is. And the other one is the graceful giraffe. And some people see that almost as the opposite, but actually that's also a great skill. Those are the kind of people, we have them in all companies, they just like people, right? They spend a lot of time getting to know people. They are the glue that keeps a company together. Mm -hmm. These are the people that actually, when you deal with them as a real estate professional, you actually get to like your real estate professional over and above just doing business with them. He actually or she actually becomes a friend. So either very driven, or very people strong skills, mm-hmm. which uh, usually salespeople are very people strong skills types of people. Yeah. <laughs> Would you agree that everyone has some of each attribute in them? It's just what is your dominant personality? That was absolutely the the uniqueness of the book. Different to some of the other skill sets, which is you're either this or that. Mm-hmm. We say that as humans, we have all skills which have multiple facets. We are very complex human beings. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, yes, I do believe that we all have all of the skills. But but you can't have every skill at maximum capacity. Mm -hmm. Some of your skills, you would probably be a little bit lower and some higher. The book tries to help you identify which attribute, which skill, which talent, which strength is your strongest. 
so that when you know what's your strongest suit, you can actually maximize that and optimize that. Yeah. Right. And I think it helps you to know what other things you need to be working on, what other things, you know, because I believe that behavior, a lot of it's learned and you can you can self-train. I mean, there wouldn't be so many self-help books out there if you couldn't, you know, self-train yourself to do those other things better that you're not doing well. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. If, if you take the quiz and you find out what's your weakest skill and you then spend time, whether you're reading books or going to courses or listening to programs like yours, if you make an effort to strengthen your weakest skill, you will find out that in the not too distant future, it will no longer be your weakest skill. You, right. You'll make it stronger. You could yeah. change animals. You could just switch sure. over to another animal, right? <laughs> All right. So what's the biggest challenge that you see that realtors have in our industry? Or is there one particular challenge that you'd like to talk about? Well, uh, the uh, uh, Champion School of Real Estate has asked me to focus specifically on technology because they understand the importance of technology and how important it is. So what I will be talking about in December is we are going to introduce the agents to 10 different technologies. Uh, I'm not here to sell products. I don't sell products. Remember, I'm almost like a, a J.D. Powers and Associates, right? I do research and then we find examples of what you can do. So we are going to come and tell the people about 10 exciting technologies that were very recently launched, which are out there, which we believe can and will be used by real estate professionals in a home buying transaction and how they can deliver a better service to the customer. So we will make it exciting. And that's probably the single biggest struggle for real estate professionals. And that is staying current with the pace of change. Mm -hmm. It's not that realtors don't know that they change. Of course they know they change. And they understand yeah. technologies out there. But with, with the speed of things happening so quickly, they sometimes might get, I don't want to say left behind, but, but they might feel that they're getting behind. And that's why why champions, being one of the leading educators in the entire country, I mean, they're the best yes, account, yes, uh, in, yes, in Texas, yes. but I mean, in the country, they're one of the, one of the leading ones. Mm -hmm. They want to help their their constituents, their students that they have trained, and I believe they have trained, I think, hundreds of thousands of agents. Oh, yeah, over 30 years now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to bring them through me the latest innovations, the latest technologies, so that their constituents can say, wow, I got this injection of energy and this injection of knowledge and I'm really now up to date with the latest stuff. It's going to be a fun ride. It is going to be fun and I'd like to thank Rita Santa Maria from Champion School of Real Estate for bringing you into the Houston market. I know you're going to Dallas as well and if there are any realtors out there who want to see you, Stefan, while you're here in uh, in the Houston area on December 3rd, I know there's still tickets available as well so they can call Champion School of Real Estate and get a ticket to come and see you live which is going to be lots of fun. I'm really looking forward to that and I really appreciate you calling into the show today. You've got a great book. you got a lot of great books out there and doing some really great things for the real estate community. I appreciate what you do and thanks for calling in. I know that um, you have a website, swaneepole.com, uh, S-W-A-N-E-P-O-E-L.com, so that if people want to find out more about you and, and, and buy any of your books, they can find out all of that online. So I appreciate you calling in, Skyping into the show. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you, everybody. And good luck to Houston. Thank you so much. All right. We'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio. Thank you.